Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Yesenia. So for today's video, is going to be a really exciting video. I've been waiting to film this video for a couple weeks already because I was waiting for all my plants to arrive. And this is going to be a plant haul and it's going to be a special plant haul because it's going to be plants that are on my wish list. And most of these plants, I got them for my birthday, which makes them even more special to me. So if you guys want to see my plant haul, then just keep on watching. So most of my plants that I got are from Etsy and any plant that I can still find that they have in stock, I'll link it down below for you guys if you guys want to check them out. So let me start with this beauty right here. This is the Monstera Arasoniae. And just in case if I mispronounce the names, I'm going to be putting them some here in the screen so you guys could see the actual name of the plant. This plant is also um, called Swiss cheese and the reason why is because, look at the leaves, they just look like cheese. So this is how the plant looks. And I put this little stick because I want her to start climbing. Eventually, I think I'm going to get something else because the stick is not working that well. Oh, and another thing because you guys are probably going to notice that I have this little yellow stickies on my plants. is because I'm dealing with fungus gnats. And that basically catches them when they're flying around. So you're going to see a lot of that in most of my plants because... Yeah, I'm having a really big issue with fungus gnats. I'll make a separate video about that. Most of the plants online, they're more expensive than going to the store, but I just haven't had a chance to go to the store. And even when I go to a plant store, I can't find one like this. So that's why I've been ordering a lot online. But online, it was really expensive and I couldn't find a cheap one. And I found this one, but this one was not potted. So basically, it was just the roots. It didn't have a pot. It was not on soil. And I was really concerned about it because I was scared that it was not going to survive. You know, the trip will be here. Or that, I don't know, that when I will pot her, that she was not going to survive. And I was really scared. But the price was like so cheap. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to give it a try and then see if it works or not. So when she came, I was in shock. I didn't expect her. I don't know if you guys could tell, like how big she is she is huge like honestly for the price i'm pretty sure it was not more than 20 dollars i will double check but i think it was like around 18 dollars for this huge plan so yeah i'm so so happy with her she's been in my wish list for a little while already so i'm so happy i was able to get one okay the next plan i'm going to share with you guys is this Peperomia Hope. She's such a cutie. I love her. I think she's so unique. Like her little leaves are so cute. And they feel like a succulent. They are kind of thick, like succulents. I think she is part of that family. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, she's so pretty and I can't wait until she starts growing more because she's going to start trailing like this little trailing right here. Um, I could tell that I'm already getting new leaves right here. I don't know if you guys could tell in camera, but right there. So yeah, I'm super excited about this plant. She's such a little cutie. Okay, so let me bring out another big plant. This plant, I know a lot of people think they're like a basic plant. But I find it really beautiful. I don't know why people think it's just a basic plant baby because they are super easy to take care of. But it's a CC plant. Let me back up so you guys can see how big she is. But close up, this is how the leaves look. Which they are super dirty because that's how she came. This one came from Home Depot, so the leaves are really dirty. I need to clean it. I just haven't had a chance, but this is how the leaves look. But see, compared to... Put it next to me. Look how big she is. She's so big. I love her. So let me tell you guys a little bit story about her. So for my birthday, my family asked me what I want, and I told them that I only wanted plants. That's all I want right now. They gave me money so I could go buy whatever plant I wanted. 
but this plant I personally didn't want to buy her so my friend he asked me as well like what do you want for your birthday and I told him um, right now I'm just getting plants that I like and he told me oh well I'm actually heading to Home Depot do you want me to check and see if they have the plants that you're looking for and I was like great because I know Home Depot doesn't carry most of the plants that I got um, so I told him basically like the basic plants that are I know it's easier to find because he doesn't know nothing about plants so if I was to tell him oh I want this specific plant he's gonna be like what um so yeah so I sent him pictures there's two plants so this is one and the other one I'll show you guys right now um my camera stopped recording so I don't know where I stopped talking because I was just going on and on but overall I just wanted to say that I'm super happy with my friend he made such a good purchase even though he doesn't know nothing about plants and I do need to repot her because she her soil is really bad she came super wet I'm still waiting for her to dry um so yeah so I'm gonna wait for that and then after I'm gonna repot her and then see right now she's still in her original pot hopefully she's not root rot she doesn't look like it honestly the leaves look really healthy to me so besides just being dirty but that's nothing um so yeah i'm super super excited to have this plant like honestly if from this haul i would say the easiest plant to take care of you guys want to um get one that is not that hard to take care of is this plant right here and it's a big plant i would really recommend for you guys to buy a cc plant so the other plant that he got for me and this one i can't be like oh why did you buy it? it's not <laughs> healthy or anything because like i said he doesn't know about plants I'm just happy that he even like considered to give me these two plants. Um, okay, so this is a rattlesnake. And it's part of the Calithia family. And if you guys know, Calitheas are so picky and so hard to take care of. But look how beautiful the leaves are. She's just so gorgeous. Okay, so this one, I didn't expect for him to find. I sent him like a couple of pictures of different plants that I was like, just in case if they're there. He said it was the last one. That's why he didn't really, he noticed that it was not in good shape. But he's like, it's the last one. And yeah, I'm just going to get it. So when I got her, she had a lot of more leaves than what she has right now. Uh, the thing is that this plant needs a lot of care. This is a really picky plant. Like I said, it's part of the Calithia family. Um, they don't like to be in soil that is super wet and she came really, really wet. So basically, if you overwater this plant, a lot of the leaves start getting really crispy and brown. Let me show you guys. See, I don't know if you guys could tell the tips. Let me see. Let me find another. I removed most of the really bad ones. This is not that bad right now. See, but all the tips have that. See this one right here. And in camera, it doesn't look that bad, but in person, you could really tell. And also, the um, bad thing about that is that these plants tend to um i think they're kind of like prayer plants i'm not sure don't quote me on that but at night they are supposed to go up yeah and uh in the morning they they go down she's not that healthy right now that she doesn't really go up um only maybe a couple leaves go up at night so yeah it makes me sad that she doesn't want to do the prayer thing but um now that i have her i just repotter her she has new she has well drainage soil now and I can't wait for her to start giving me new leaves and that way I could get rid of the bad ones. So yeah, she's in rehab, but overall I'm so happy that he found this plant for me because if I was to order this online, it would probably more be more expensive than what it is like in a Home Depot. And overall it's a really good plant. I mean, like, like I said, you can't really tell that much in camera, but for me, I could tell the edges that she's not happy, but it's okay. We're going to bring her back to life and she's going to thrive. Okay, so another plant that I got is this plant right here, which this is a Scandopsius pictus exotica. It's basically a silver satin potos. Look at this leaves, guys. Do you see the silver? Oh my god, this one. Look. 
Look how silver that is. And the leaves are huge. Look compared to my hand. This plant has been also in my wish list from the beginning because the leaves are huge. And I think they could even grow even bigger depending on the lighting or the condition that you have it in your home. Um, right now, she's still, you know, acclimating to my home. She's still not giving me new leaves yet, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna start growing soon, especially now that we're in spring. I just gave her water, so it's a little bit dripping. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this one because um, I'm gonna have her trailing down and I could just imagine how beautiful she's gonna look once she starts getting like really huge and I can't wait. Okay, and the last plant that I bought is a tiny little plant. It cost me, I think, a lot for that little tiny cutting. But this plant, this is like my top plant that I have in my wish list that I've been searching for her like the past, I don't know, months. And I just couldn't give in to spend so much money on it because they're so expensive honestly i don't even know why they're so overpriced i mean they, they are beautiful but by now they should be like more inexpensive you know and i actually wasn't able to the ones at etsy ugh, the prices are like insane so i was not gonna buy one on etsy um i actually found her in facebook market which i'm kind of new to that and i think maybe i will start buying more plants there because it was a good experience and it was not as expensive as the ones in that scene. It's a variegated string of hearts. Look at the pink. Focus. You kind of see from the back too. It's such a little cutie. Like, oh my goodness. She's so I love her. I don't know how to think with string of hearts. I just love them so, so much. Just look at this little cutie pie. She's so cute. When I got her, the seller had two. And I actually wanted to buy both of the cuttings because I was like, that way, if one doesn't survive, I have the other one. Or I could have two cuttings. But when I contacted the seller, she told me, oh, one is already on hold for my friend. And I was like, really? Can you just sell it to me? I want both. And she's like, no, I can't. But I'll let you pick the one that you want. So I picked this one. This one, I picked this one because this one had a couple more hearts. And it was having already like a little shoot. Like it was already coming with hearts. So these two right here are the new hearts that came in being with me. And I don't know if you could tell. Oh my god, this camera doesn't want to focus. You see how there's two more coming. So I'm super, super excited about her. I can't wait until she starts trailing and I'm such a cutie. And I'm still in the hunt to buy another cutting or two if the price is right. But I do want to have more so I can make a full plant eventually. But I'm super happy with this one. Okay, guys, so that's my plant haul. If you guys did like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, my loves.